I would like to take this opportunity to thank my late father, Abdul Wakil, whose selfless sacrifices will never be forgotten and whose advice is about hard work, perseverance and integrity I will hold on to as pearls of wisdom. To my mother, Shagufa, Your unconditional love has given me the strength to get through my toughest moments. Thank you for always supporting me and trusting my ambitious journey. <laughs> to my three amazing siblings, thank you for making life that extra bit bearable. Hurush, you have made me so proud of all your achievements as a mother, as a wife, a makeup artist, and soon-to-be pharmacist. Salman, I love your sense of humour and enjoy our spontaneous kitchen counter philosophical discussions. Sina, who's preparing like so many young Australians to sit the final year 12 exams, your wisdom is beyond your years and I know you have a bright future ahead of you. I wish Sina and all the year 12 students out there sitting their final exams the best of luck. No such thing as a first speech without dedicating a section to my incredible mentors and support network. I would not be here without you. President and fellow senators, I stand before you tonight as a young woman, as a West Australian, as a Muslim devout to her faith, proud of her heritage and grateful to this beautiful country. It is a country that offers so, so much to so many. People travel from all parts of the world in the hopes of calling Australia home. 